879. I want to show you a little something I just come across. This here, my friends, is a Ruger Mark III target model. Now, this isn't mine. This belongs to my cousin Steve, but uh, I've shot this gun enough to where I can do a pretty good video on it. Most people, a bar gun from somebody, maybe only shot it, uh, what, less than 50 rounds. Then they want to do a review about it and talk about it. Hey, an initial impression is good, but as far as uh, talking about the gun itself, 50 rounds, you know, just ain't enough. Me, I've been fortunate enough to have been able to put quite a few rounds through this thing. All right. Let's check it out here right quick. As you can see here, this is what comes with it. You got uh, two keys. You can... Uh, Lock this gun up to where it won't fire. A lot of people don't like that feature, but to me, hey, I ain't gonna complain about it none. You also got two 10 round magazines. And yes, they are the kind that will uh, make your thumb sore after a while. You also got a reel where you can mount an optic or a scope on there of some kind. And this firearm is drilled and tap on the top to mount that rail one two three places i do suggest if you're going to leave the optic on there for any amount of time use a little loctite on these right here for your reel also got a really nice uh got the gray carrying case we've all come accustomed to and on the inside of it you got the your instruction manuals and some other literature from ruger and of course uh steve's got the lock at his place he bought this gun about seven years ago. Never had a bit of problem out of it. Says it's the most accurate firearm he's ever shot. Well, it's one of the most accurate I've ever shot too. And I have had the pleasure of putting quite a few rounds through this. You know, uh, you just can't go wrong with these Ruger Mark III pistols. Seven years, thousands of rounds, guess what? This gun has never been taken apart, not even the first time. What Steve will do with it, he'll clean up here in the chamber, get that feed ramp cleaned up really well, <clears throat> make sure there's no dirt or grit in the loaded chamber indicator. Hey, it's been good to go. Now eventually he's going to take it to a gunsmith and let him take it apart and give it a proper cleaning. But that thing is nice. You got the... Uh, Five and a half inch bull barrel. The back sights are adjustable for windage and elevation. You got the large front blade sight. Uh, the frame here, receivers made of an alloy steel. The finish is blued. I don't know about blue, but it looks black to me. And you got the classic Ruger grips. You got the uh, Firebird here, or Eagle, or whatever it is, with the Sturm Ruger logo on it and the red background. You got your uh, bolt release. You got your magazine uh, eject button, and you got your safety. And right there is a little key, or the little hole where you put the key in, turn it clockwise. It'll lock a gun up, and you won't be able to fire it. This firearm has never had any aftermarket work done to it but it's got damn near hair trigger i'd say two and a half to three pounds and that was really surprising but it is a target model i really enjoy shooting this thing i have a 2245 uh, mark three that i bought here just a few weeks ago and the reason i bought it was because steve already had this one so why should i go buy a firearm if i have one readily available to me so I got the 2245, and I will be doing a comparison video of this and the Mark III standard target model here shortly. But for you people out there, you know, that's thinking about buying a new firearm, just shooting some 22 long rifle, shooting some pop cans, maybe some old targets or something, you can't go wrong with this. This thing dead on accurate out of the box steve has never touched the sights back here he hasn't had to 
No malfunctions of any kind or anything. Just maybe once in a while a bad round of ammo. Other than that, it's been good to go. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this about uh, his cleaning process. He will also keep the inside of the barrel nice and clean, no problem. Uh, as far as the bolt back here, he'll keep just a little bit of oil on it, you know. Don't want it to get too dry. And he will put oil, just a couple of drops here and there, in the necessary places because, as we all know, too much oil can be about as bad as no oil because it attracts a lot of dust, dirt, grit, grime, what have you. He takes super good care of this firearm. He, he's just like it. He's got a good eye for firearms, too. He doesn't buy junk. And right here, this, uh, like I said, this Ruger, if it's well taken care of, this thing will last forever. This is the kind of firearm you could say is a generational firearm. You could pass it down to your kids. They pass it down to theirs. My Lord, before you know it, if your family line's still going, it's very possible a hundred years from now, maybe even longer, one of your descendants will have your same firearm. Well, look, I'm going to get off here. I've babbled on long enough, but... Uh, this right here, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. I know there are other uh, 22 pistols out there that cost a lot less, like uh, what, that Phoenix Arms HP 22A, or uh, even the Heritage Rough Riders. You know, those are good revolvers, but uh, they cost a lot less than this, but it's like anything else. You get what you pay for, okay? Spend a few extra bucks get one of these all right you will not regret it i'm out of here garage gate 79 when you go shooting be safe